What's up guys, it's Sophia Carson here and I hope you had a beautiful Valentine's Day. You are watching my most requested live Ask Anything chat, so thank you so much to the amazing Romeo and my iHeart family for having me on the show and thank you guys for sending in so many amazing questions. Should we start? Let's start with Anna from France. Bonjour. <laughs> Will you be present during Fashion Week in Paris this year? I cannot confirm or deny. Bisous. <laughs> um, Madeline from East Lansing. How would you say your sound has changed from love is the name to I love you? That is a great question and it's so cool to look back on my journey of the last four years and see where I started and where I am today. I just think my sound and, and my music is growing up with me and I think it's just becoming more and more honest and more true to who I am and the stories that I want to tell and perhaps even a little bit more vulnerable with each song. Okay. Juliana from Garden Grove, California says, do you still talk to Dove and Jay and Boo Boo? Yes, of course, we have a group chat and um, we talk on it quite often, yeah. Yocasta from Brooklyn amazing name, says, what was the best Valentine's Day you've ever had? Um, to be honest, I think it was last year or maybe a few years back, it was just me and my sister were each other's Valentine's and we came home and we kind of had each for each other, like our favorite snacks and like, you know, teddy bears and stuff laid out on the table and just had like, um, I think we had a movie night and had dinner together and, you know, you guys know I'm obsessed with her. She's like my best friend. So she's like my forever Valentine. Okay. Ivana from Mexico says, what do you like most about your career? That is hard to pick. Um, I think my greatest blessing or my greatest treasure is really being able to have this and to have this with you guys and to have this connection and to really feel like in some way, somehow my stories and my songs and my roles can make an impact on your lives in, in any small way that I can. And your support and your love and every time I travel and I hear you guys singing my songs on the streets, that to me is just, it's the greatest gift in the world. So I think that to me is my favorite part of all of this. You guys are my greatest gift. Carrie from Hartford says, who do you love? <laughs> That's a great question. I see what you did there. I'm going to uh, say, I love you. Give the politically correct response and not say who I actually love. Just kidding. I really, I just love you guys. That's it. You guys and my family and my dog. That's about everyone that I love. <laughs> um, Agnes from Los Angeles says, can you describe your new music in emojis? That's a good question. I'm going to go with the heart because it's music that's coming from my heart. I'm going to go with the butterfly because it gives me butterflies, just thinking about it. Um, I'm going to go with the flame. And I think those three sum it up pretty good. The heart, the butterfly, and the flame. Okay, let's see who's next. Sophia from NYC. Hi, Sophie. Mwah, te quiero. Um, the first thing you do when you wake up, this is terrible and I have to work on this because the first thing I do is I open my emails. Like I have one eye open and one eye closed and the first thing I do is check my email, which is not good. So don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to change it, so if I promise. Laura from NYC says, how did you come up with the design for the Me To We Unstoppable Rafiki bracelet? I love it and wear it all the time. It's so inspiring, gives me confidence. First of all, Laura, thank you from the bottom of my heart. That means the world to me. Um, this Rafiki was created when we were, I was in Kenya with my sister with the We Movement, with the actual mamas who make Rafikis for a living and with the money that they make, they educate their whole families. And red to me has always been one of my favorite colors because it represents fire and the strength of what it means to be a woman. I think it's kind of like the epitome of femininity, so I wanted it to be red. And so we kind of started off of with that color, with the red, and then the star to me has always been really important to me, and the whole concept of the Unstoppable, Unstoppable Rafiki is for you guys to wear it and feel unstoppable. So that was kind of the inspiration behind it. My phone locked. Okay, here we go. Flirt Blue. Flirt Blue. 
good name from Albany, New York. If you had to give us advice, what would you tell us and why? I would say first and foremost, um, to realize how lucky we all are to have an education. And if you can, to pursue your education and to go to school and go to college. And then I would say that if you have a dream and a passion that you can imagine your life without, that you can imagine yourself without, follow it fearlessly and don't stop. No closed door is a no. Um, behind every closed door is is the open door that's waiting for you. So no matter how many no's or how hard it is, just be fearless and boldly and fearlessly fight for what you believe in and for your dreams. And I truly believe that anything is possible if you really, really believe in that. Karina from Perth, what was it like the first time you got noticed in public? It was pretty surreal. I remember it was, I think, a week after the first Descendants had come out, and that was really my first movie, so my first introduction into the world. I was at the mall, Century City Mall in LA, with my sister, and we were at a magazine stand, and I saw a little girl grabbing, I think it was like a J14 magazine that had the four of us on the cover while she was singing Set It Off, and I coincidentally was right next to her, so that was pretty cool. I think that's everything. Oh my goodness, thank you guys so much for watching my most requested live Ask Anything questions. Thank you for all your questions and all your love and all your support. I love you, Romeo. I love you, iHeartRadio. And I love you guys so much. Mwah. Thank you.